So far this year, we've already learned about prefixes. Today, we are going to learn about suffixes. Suffixes are word parts that go at the end of a root word. Remember, a prefix goes at the beginning of the word. Suffixes go at the end. And when they are added to that root word, it creates a new word with a new meaning, just like a prefix. So the suffixes that we are going to focus on today are ER, which could mean a person who. For example, if we have the root word work, W-O-R-K, work, and we add ER to it, to, and then the word becomes worker, that means a person who works. Or if we have the root word bake, and we add ER to the end, we would then have the word baker, which would mean a, per a person who bakes. The suffix ER can also mean more. For example, if we have the root fast, and we added ER to the end to get faster, that would mean more fast. That person is more fast than someone else. Uh, another example would be the word, if we added the suffix er to the root word tall, that would give us the word taller. That means they are more tall. He is taller than she is, or he is more tall, which doesn't make as much sense, which is why we use our suffixes. Um, the next suffix that we are going to go over is EST. Est. This means most. If we were to add EST to our root word tall to get tallest, that would mean most tall. So if we were to say, okay, boys and girls, line up from shortest to tallest, that would mean you are lining up from the most short to the person who is the most tall. Next, the suffix full, F-U-L, means full of. The first word that comes to mind is the word beautiful. That means full of beauty. Or hopeful, which means full of hope. And the final suffix that we are going to learn about is the suffix less, which means without. Uh, let's see. An example would be the word shameless, which means without shame, or hopeless, meaning without hope. So on the next slide, you are going to Put it together. Click and drag the puzzle pieces to match the prefix, sorry, the suffix to its meaning. The suffix to its meaning. So that needs to be fixed. Um, we have a person, EST, without, ER, full of, full, most, and less. So you're going to connect the puzzle pieces here. On this slide, you are going to read the clue below, then type the root word and suffix that matches the clue. So, a person who paints. Which suffix did we say means a person who? If you forgot, you can always go back to that very first slide. A person who, the suffix is er. So here you would type ER under the suffix puzzle piece. And then our root word. Which word are we attaching the ER to to let us know a person who paints? Here would be paint. So a person who paints would be paint-er. You're going to do the same for the remainder of these slides. We have the most tall. So which suffix means 
the most or most and then what is the root word that you're adding that suffix to more small full of color without fear that is all that we are going to do with the suffixes for today. And remember, if you forget, this first slide gives you your suffixes and the meanings.